Hi everyone, welcome to another session of Mami Teo Teaches Math. In this session, we will discuss finding the domain and range of a rational function. Let's do it. So, to find the domain of a rational function, you just set the denominator is not equal to zero. And then you solve for x. x is not equal to 4 because 0 plus 4 is 4. Now, remember that domain is the set of all x's and y is the set of all y's. And there are two ways in writing them. It can be in set notation or it can be in interval notation. In set notation, this is the set of all x's such that x is not equal to 4. Meaning all real numbers are included in the set except 4. For the interval, you have to begin with the negative infinity always and then comma 4 and then union 4 positive infinity. To find the range, if the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, your range must be y is not equal to, you get the leading coefficient 5, you get the leading coefficient here, 1. So, y is not equal to 5. So, in writing it in set notation, this will be y such that y is not equal to 5. And in interval, this will be negative infinity, 5, union, 5, positive infinity. Let's take example number 2. What about if we have y is equal to x plus 2 over x squared minus 4. So you will notice that in the denominator, we have to set it not equal to 0. Solving for x, you have x is not equal to 4. You get the square root, you get the square root. So x is not equal to positive and negative 2. So, writing it in set notation, this will be x such that x is not equal to positive and negative 2. So, in interval, you have negative infinity and then negative 2 union that will be negative 2, positive 2, and then union that will be positive 2, positive infinity. Okay. So, in finding the range, if the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, this one is not equal to 0. That's the range. So, how do we do that? This is y such that y is not equal to 0. In interval notation, negative infinity comma 0, union 0, comma positive infinity. Okay, so here, let us move to number 3. In number 3, still, you will be doing the same. So, you have here y is equal to x plus 2 over x squared plus 4x minus 5. Okay. So, in this case, how do we get the domain? The domain is, again, x squared plus 4x minus 5 is not equal to 0. So, this will be x plus 5, factoring it, and x minus 1 is not equal to 0. So, x is not equal to negative 5, and x is not equal to positive 1. Okay, so writing it in set notation, this will be x such that x is not equal to negative 5 and positive 1. Writing it in interval, this will be negative infinity, negative 5, union, negative 5, positive 1, union, 1, comma, positive infinity. Okay. So, what about 
the range. How do we get the range of this? If you will notice, still the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. If this one is the case, since there are two values here, there are two values for x here, meaning there are two vertical asymptotes, and there is another graph in between, your range here should be y is the set of real numbers. That's how you do it. Okay, so this is negative infinity up to positive infinity. Because if you will analyze this, this is the graph. This one is not equal to the one that we have solved. That is x plus 5 is not equal to 0. x is not equal to negative 5. Where's that? 2, 3, 4, 5. This one. And then x plus or x minus 1 is not equal to 0. x is not equal to 1. So therefore, this one is 1. Okay. So your graph will be like this. Okay. It will be like this. So therefore, the range covers all the y's. That's why it's negative infinity up to positive infinity. Okay, example number four. So here in number four, you will be doing the same. Again, the domain is x minus 1 is not equal to 0. x is not equal to 1. So this is the set of all x's such that x is not equal to 1. Again, in interval, negative infinity, comma, 1, union, 1, positive infinity. That's it. For the range, in this case, the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. So, if that is the case, you need to solve for x. How do we do that? How do we solve for x? Let's do it. So, this is y equals x squared plus x minus 1 over x minus 1. We solve for x. How? By cross multiplication, this is xy minus y is equal to x squared plus x minus 1. Okay? So, you solve for x, meaning you have to put x there and then non-x here. So, that will be, you transpose, that is 1 minus y. That becomes positive. So, still negative y. So, this is x squared plus x minus xy. Okay, next. This one is x squared plus x minus xy equals 1 minus y. And just interchange them. So, this one is symmetrical property of equation. So, this is now x squared, isolating x. I will be factoring out x. So, that will be 1 minus y equals 1 minus y. Okay? So, after that, you will be completing now the square. How do we complete the square? Let us divide this by 2 and then add square to both sides. So, 1 minus y over 2, square them. So, that is x squared plus x. 1 minus y over 2. So, that will be plus 1 minus y over 2 squared. Squared equals 1 minus y plus 1 minus y squared 4. I just squared 2, so that will be 4. Next, this one is a PST now, a perfect square trinomial. So that will be, that will be x plus 1 minus y over 2. So this is how I write it. Okay, so equals, let's simplify. This is 4. Minus 4y plus, squaring this, 1 minus 2y plus y squared. 
square of binomial over 4. Okay, next. Combining like terms, that will be x plus 1 minus y over 2 squared equals, let's simplify it, that will be y squared minus 6y plus 5 over 4. I just combine like terms. Next is, you need to get the square root of both sides. So that will be x plus, this will be cancelled now, plus 1 minus y over 2 equals, no squared for this, but there is a square root of 4. That will be square root of y squared minus 6y plus 5. Okay. Over 2. Okay. Now, after this, after this, you have to solve for this one. Since you are solving for x, this will be x is equal to square root of y squared minus 6y plus 5 minus 1 minus y over 2, over 2. No problem about this. This one is always a real number. So just focus on this in finding the range. So this one should be greater than or equal to 0. So that the number that can be presented here should be positive. Because we know that if it is negative, it is an imaginary number. So how do we solve this quadratic inequality? So you just find the factors of this, y minus 5 and y minus 1. You set them to 0. So this is y is equal to 5 and y is equal to 1. Okay. So there are how many intervals that we need to try for us to be able to get the right solution. So that will be, we have the three intervals, negative infinity, comma 1, since this one is equal, so we use the bracket sign. And then union, another interval will be uh, 1, comma 5, and then 5, comma positive infinity. Okay, so let us try this three now. Which of these three is the solution of this? So, let's do it here. Okay, let's do it here. Let's pick one here. Let's pick one. So, that will be y squared minus 6y plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. Let's pick one. 1 squared minus 6 times 1 plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. 1 minus 6 plus 5 greater than or equal to 0. This is 6 minus 6 greater than or equal to 0. So this one is true, meaning this one is included in the solution. Next, what about if we have less than this, 0? So meaning, so this is 0 minus 6 times 0 plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. So, 0, 0, 5 greater than 0. So, this one is a solution therefore. This one is a solution therefore. Next, 1, 5. We have already tried 1. So, let's try in between. In between 1 and 5. Let's try 2. Since 2 is in between 1 and 5. So that is 2 squared minus 6 times 2 plus 5 greater than or equal to 0. So this one is 4 minus 12 plus 5 greater than or equal to 0. So we have negative, uh, negative 3 because 4 plus 5 is 9 is greater than or equal to 0. So this one is false, meaning this one is not included in the solution. And finally, we have 5 positive infinity. So, let's try 5. So, let's try 5 here. 
So that is 5 squared minus 6 times 5 plus 5 greater than or equal to 0. So 25 minus 30 plus 5. So this one is 30 minus 30 greater than or equal to 0. So 5 is included. Let's try 6. This one is true again. Let's try 6. 6 squared minus 6 times 6 plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. 36 minus 36 plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. 5 is greater than or equal to 0. So these are the solution. Meaning your range will be y is what? The set of all x's or the range rather is the set of all y's such that y is what is this? Less than, less than or equal to 1, but greater than or equal to 5. So y is less than or equal to 1, but greater than or equal to 5. Okay. So in interval notation, the range will be negative infinity, negative infinity, 1, Union five infinity. Okay.